Weight gain in pregnancy is one of those big issues that has been changing over time. So now we know that people don't need to gain as much weight as we thought they did. I did gain a lot of weight with my uh, first pregnancy, 60 pounds with my first. So this time around, um, I am a lot more educated on that st stuff. So I've been <laughs> watching and eating healthy. The amount of weight you should gain during your pregnancy is not standard for everyone. It depends on the weight that you're starting at. If you're starting at a healthy weight at the beginning of your pregnancy, then your goal is to gain about 25 to 35 pounds throughout the pregnancy. Most people don't have a problem with this, and if anything, most people gain too much weight. If you're starting off above your ideal body weight, then you're looking at gaining between 10 to 20 pounds during the entire pregnancy. And I would say the pattern of weight gain is probably more important and what you're eating is more important than the actual weight gain. To break that down, a lot of women will gain between one and five pounds in the first trimester and then about a pound a week afterwards. The first time around with my son, everybody was like, don't worry, eat for two. That's what you're, you know, go ahead. This time around, if I feel full, I stop. So there have been a lot of old wives tales about having to eat for two. The reality is that a woman really only needs an additional 300 calories per day during the course of her pregnancy to maintain good nutritional support for the fetus. Instead of paying a lot of attention to the number, the biggest thing is to pay attention to eating a healthy diet. You know, I didn't realize food was such a big part of pregnancy. I, you know, you hear stories all the time of women eating whatever they want when they're pregnant and whatever their cravings you just have. And I didn't realize you had to be careful and that you had to eat healthy and everything you put in your body matters. And so that's something that I'm still learning. If you gain too much weight during the pregnancy, then you do put yourself and your pregnancy at risk. Um, you have increased risks of things like preterm labor, um, problems during the labor, increased risk of C-section, uh, increased risk of gestational diabetes, which can put your baby at risk after the baby's born as well. The ultimate outcome, of course, we're looking for is a healthy baby and a healthy mom, and those still happen even when you don't gain weight. It's very difficult to lose weight, as anybody knows, but especially after having a baby. Uh, your sleep is interrupted often, and it makes it difficult to follow a proper diet and exercise. So uh, holding uh, your weight at the proper level during pregnancy is, is vital. Right, well why is it so hard? Why Arr! is it so hard to lose weight if you're fat, right? Uh, this is a good question. Well, okay, we could also rephrase this and say, uh, why is it so hard to make money when you're broke, right? Well, it comes back to this idea of like, the rich get richer, the poor, the poor get poorer, right? So when you're, when you're fat and you're, you're trying to lose weight, you're resisting the fact that you're fat. You're like, oh my God, I hate that I'm fat, I wanna lose weight, right? but you're, con you're continually focused on the fact that you're fat. You're continually focused on your present situation, like, and, and the story that you associate with that, right? It's not just like a, like a um, it's not just I'm fat, it's not just I'm 230 pounds and four feet tall. <laughs> uh, it's not just that, it's um, like, it's, so you're not just looking at the facts, you're attaching like an, an emotional story to it, right? A connotation to it. So like when you say I'm fat, fat has like a negative connotation for us in the language. So it's like, oh, I'm fat, right? You're like judging yourself. So when you're judging yourself, it creates that like um, that resistance, that, that feeling of, of resistance. And remember, whatever we resist persists, okay? So when you when you focus on the fact that you're fat okay because right when you resist it it creates emotional when you judge it it creates an emotional charge around it uh which locks it in and then because of the emotion that stimulates thoughts on that level um around that emotion and then those thoughts feed back into that emotion and becomes a feedback loop and you end because you're like you get more of what you're focusing on because where your focus goes energy flows and that expands so you get more of being fat so whatever you resist persists so when you're fat, it's hard to lose weight because you focus on the fact that you're fat. And also there's a load of other stuff because there's a reason you're fat. There's a reason you're fat and it goes deeper than just, oh, I ate some food, right? Why did you eat that food? 
why did you lack in uh, exercise habits over time, right? Why did you uh, not take care of your health? Well, it's because you didn't value yourself, you didn't love yourself uh, as much and unconditionally. You didn't, uh, you, you didn't feel like you deserved to be fit uh, and in shape because, again, like you felt like you weren't enough. Uh, you felt like, yeah, like there was a payoff to being fat. Like you could play the victim, uh, and people would be like, "Oh, oh, he's just fat. It's like fat Tony. It's just fat Tony. You know, he's just oh, he's just fat Tony. You know, uh, like big Tony. Oh, he's just big Mike, big Tony, whatever. You know." Big, big James, whatever. Um, big so. Oh, she's she's just Sophie, you know. She like it's like this kind of cute like victim, like playing small thing, right? Um, so you can get attention for that. Uh, also, you might have received a positive reward and feedback when you're a kid for that. Um, you know, maybe your parents gave you something to shut up, like gave you some sweets or something, and then so like from that place of not getting their attention. Um, and wanting their attention and then like having that associated with sugar when you don't get attention you associate that with sugar so then like you end up overeating right also because you have this insecurity and feelings of lack and feelings of um of like being unloved unconditionally and, and like feeling of being alone you want to like and basically negative feelings that you don't like you suppress though you want to suppress those and get away from those so you eat and you try and like push the feeling down and down and down right um so loads, that's a load, load of reasons. Uh, another one with being fat in particular, um, uh, kind of similar. So we, 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 we want to squash down these feelings for ourselves, but we also want to protect ourselves uh, from being hurt by other people, right? It's like, a, it's, like, it's, like being, it's like a protective armoring, right? We feel unsafe and unsecure. So we're like, all right, okay, if I've got this fat suit on, like I can't, I can't be touched, right? Um, it's like if you... It's like going into a, a rugby match with pads on, right? Or going in, going into um, like, like, or like walking around in a big fat suit, uh, like an inflatable fat suit. You feel like you just run into anyone. You feel like you're unstoppable. Um, so it's the difference between playing rugby and playing NFL, all right? American football. Um, I'm gonna get some hate for that. Uh, yeah. So, so, so essentially, this is what it is. It's being like so. You, when when you're fat you focus on the fact that you're fat also there are reasons that you're fat that you're not realizing and you're not fixing those so you can try all the different strategies in the book that's why there are so many different strategies and that's why the weight loss industry is like a fucking multi 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 billion dollar industry i think it's like 180 billion dollar a year industry um maybe that's an overestimate i can't remember the, the stats i should know this uh because one of my businesses is is a weight loss thing my, my partner could tell me um uh but yeah the the uh the idea is that uh, like like you're trying all these different things, but it's not working. So that or like it works for a short period of time, but you didn't sort out that foundational thing. So it kind of zips back up, right? Um, you didn't you didn't. So, so you know this is why on the Biggest Loser they'll lo they'll lose a load of weight really quickly and then they'll put it back on sometimes even more uh, because they didn't change their lifestyle habits because they didn't fix the under underlying emotional uh, root that was at the core of everything. Okay, so how do you do this stuff? I've got loads of stuff on my channel about that. Uh, I want to keep this video reasonably short. Also, you can check out my course. Uh, links down below. And with the course, I think at the moment, you can book a call with me. And then we can talk about your goals, your desires, your current situation, how you can get there. Uh, and then if the program's a good fit for you, I'll invite you. If not, uh, you won't get an invitation. It's application only at the moment. Um, but that's that's that. Um, and that basically deals with like releasing all this stuff once and for all, getting clear on what it is that you went, where you want to go and how to actually create that. Okay. Um, that's basically it. So stop focusing on the fact that you're fat, focus on where you want to go. So success, I'll leave you with this. Success is about focusing on what you do want, not on what you don't want. So release that stuff that's holding you back. Focus on, uh, your potential where you can go, uh, start unconditionally loving yourself and the present moment. Um, and uh, something that, that, that can help with that is the breath that I always talk about, the gap breath, uh, grounding into your body, becoming aware in the present moment, and then perfection of everything, uh, and actually doing that. And um, that's about it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.